الحمد للہ وسلاۃ وسلام على نبی محمد وعلى علی وصحبہ وسلم بعد شہر رمضان it is the month of striving and struggling in worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and all worship in order to have it accepted that a person should have sincerity to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so when we fast we fast for who we fast to please Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala and we fast in accordance with the way the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam fasted we don't fast how the jews fast or we don't fast how the christians fast and we don't fast how the buddhists uh, engage in fasting or meditation but rather we follow the prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam's example and this holy month with meeting those conditions would mean that we are following the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam and that the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam during the last 10 nights 10 days of ramadan he would strive even extra doing extra acts of, of goodness and worship and charity and staying up late and and doing the night prayer as was narrated in the hadith of aisha ta radiyallahu ta'ala anha qalat kana rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam yajtahidu fil fil ashr aw akhir ma la yajtahid yajtahidu fi ghayrihi so aisha ta fa aisha radiyallahu ta'ala anha she said that the messenger of allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam used to strive in the last 10 uh, days of ramadan in in a way that he didn't strive in other times meaning that he put extra emphasis on those last 10 days in his worship of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and in another hadith of aisha radiyallahu ta'ala anha qalat uh, كان رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم اذا دخل عشرة احيا الليل واقذ اهله وجد وشد مئزر ومعنى شد المئزر اي شمر واجتهد في في العبادات وكيل كناي على اعتزال النساء so in this hadith of aisha رضي الله تعالى عنها She said that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam if the last 10 days entered in Ramadan then he would bring he would uh, be active in the evening meaning doing the night prayer and he would wake up his family meaning wake up his family to pray the qiyam al-layl to, to pray the the late night prayer to get that ajr the last third of the night when the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam mentioned in another hadith ينزل ربنا تبارك وتعالى كل ثلث الليل الاخر the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said in another hadith that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala descends the last third of every night uh, to the lowest heavens this is thabit an nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam this is affirmed in an authentic hadith of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comes down to the last heaven in the la- in the last third of the night so that is the time when the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to wake his family to pray with jidda and strive and he would uh you know be extra striving in his worship and so we learn from this hadith the importance of the qiyam al-layl of striving to pray the night prayer and to strive all throughout ramadan but especially those last 10 days and i ask allah the almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of those who live and strive and gain the benefit of Ramadan and especially those last 10 days and evenings and be of those who are the people who uh, pray the Laylatul Qadr and have their sins forgiven and have their their supplications answered by Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala and may Allah bless us all with good wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad